hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing very well and thank you so much for clicking in today's video I'm going to share my nighttime skincare routine where I use azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is an ingredient that does so much good things to your skin, especially for those of you uh, suffering from acne, uh, melasma, and especially rosacea. Just keep in mind that this ingredient is not going to cure completely your rosacea. It only uh, calm your skin uh, and calm the inflammation that we get uh, and also suit your skin and reduce the redness that we get uh, with this skin condition. Uh, and we have to really, really make sure that protect our skin from the sun. The worst thing that trigger your rosacea and it starts the inflammation is the sun. So we have to protect it by using a sunscreen. Um, Recently, I did purchase this uh, product, uh, the azelaic acid. Uh, this is from the Inky List. Uh, I like this brand in general. They do have a lot of uh, good uh, skincare product. Uh, I did use in the past. Uh, I do love them. Their ingredients are very straightforward. There isn't too many complicated uh, ingredients. Uh, the same thing with this one, uh, azelaic acid. Um, over the counter, uh, normally they do have uh, 10%, but if you want to go higher, you have to uh, ask for your dermatologist to prescribe you for more or higher percentage. Uh, but over the counter, uh, I think uh, the 10% is the highest. Any treatment ingredients? Uh, you have to, you know, uh, you have to go slow. Uh, make sure to start with lower percentage and then go slowly higher because they will be uh, irritate your skin or they will be, uh, you know, not damage your skin, but it, it has a bad side effect that you would probably won't go back to them. Uh, but if you go lower, uh, start from lower percentage and uh, build up your tolerance uh, uh, and then uh, then you won't be having those bad side effects that these treatments uh, have. Uh, again, uh, this uh, over-the-counter is the highest one that they have is 10%. Again, and you can purchase this one from Sephora. Uh, I believe it's uh, around $22 Canadian. Um, I have been using this uh, more than uh, three weeks now. Um, I started with once every other night uh, and then uh, uh, now I'm using it uh, like every single night. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, I am introducing this ingredi ingredients to my skin slowly so that I don't feel the dryness, the irritations. Or, or any peeling that it might have every other night and now I'm using it every single night. Uh, the key ingredients is uh, of course uh, azelaic acid which is 10%. 0.3% uh, alentone uh, that helps and suit the skin. Uh, it also have a aqua water uh, azelaic acid is the second ingredient. And here is the rest of the ingredients. I just want to make sure that I'm not uh, mispronouncing any of these ingredients. So, uh, but uh, the second ingredient is azelaic acid, and it's 10%, and that's the main uh, ingredients in this uh, product. Uh, do I like this? Um, I never used azelaic acid before, so I would compare with another product. Uh, but I, I heard that uh, azelaic acid is a powder. So, and then they mix it with or cream type of thing. So, um, that's why, um, that's why when I'm applying this, it applies really easily. It sinks to my skin fast, but, uh, it's like you have dry powder around your skin. So that's how it feels after. Um, I don't touch my skin a lot, but uh, I do feel like it's coming out. So I don't know again, uh, uh, 
if that's supposed to do because uh, again it is uh, a powder ingredients that they mix it with a some sort of cream so that's why i'm thinking that's what it uh, that's the um, powdery things that i feel it coming from uh, but again this is my first time i'm using this so i don't know if any other uh, product would do i did heard that um, the uh, ordinary uh, acetic acid do the same thing it when you apply it uh, you feel that uh, that powdery things uh, on your skin so i'm that's what i'm thinking maybe that's how it should be or that's how they are but uh, again um, this is my first acetic acid product that i use and that's how it feels um again let me know if you guys uh, use azelic acid and it doesn't do that so i just want to make sure that if that's what this product should do or that's the or the inkyless product does that but uh, in terms of performance uh, it does perform very well in my opinion, uh, I do see uh, that uh, my skin feels calm after I using this. Uh, I do use it at nighttime. Uh, I don't use in the morning. You can use it in the morning as well, uh, but I only use it at nighttime because I do have other ingredients that I'm uh, using it in the morning. It is a gel uh, creamy type of texture. And uh, as you can see, it's really light weighted uh, serum, really light weighted cream gel moisturizer, uh, which really um, easily um, apply to your skin. And again, uh, when I apply this, uh, my skin feels, it, it has a, a matte finish. It doesn't have a greasy finish to it. It has a matte finish, but I don't feel the tightness. Uh, I don't feel uh, dryness. It just feels comfortable when I use it. Uh, I don't see any irritation at all. Uh, it doesn't have a greasy finish, which I love about, uh, or shiny uh, finish to it. It just have a matte finish to it. And uh, again, but it doesn't make your skin tight or dry. Uh, but it feels comfortable to your skin. So uh, again, well, the only thing that I, I hate about this is the powdery uh, feelings after. Would I purchase this again? I don't know if I would have purchased this again. Uh, I would probably purchase another product, uh, another azelic acid from a different brand and I would see the difference. If I see the same feelings, I might go back to this one because this one, again, it is a very lightweighted uh, serum, gel moisturizer texture, uh, but again, it, it feels very lightweighted. It's, it's matte finished. When I say matte finished, it's not like, you know, your skin feels tight. Uh, it's it doesn't have the shiny or greasy finish to it i hate greasy finish product and i have some of them which i will be uh, sharing those one with you guys uh, but if you do like uh, the uh, uh, shiny finish or greasy finish to it probably you don't like it because it doesn't have any shiny or any greasy finish to it. Just keep in mind that uh, azelic acid ingredients is good for the rosacea, but it's not gonna cure the rosacea. It's not gonna completely go away. Uh, if you think that, okay, I'm gonna use, buy this and use it and my rosacea should go away, uh, that's not gonna happen. It's just gonna calm your skin, calm the irritation. It suits your skin uh, and also um, reduce the redness. Uh, over time you have to be consistent of using this product to see the benefit how to use this uh, after you uh, wash your skin uh, if you have any sort of toner that you're using use that and then you can use this one 
it's, it's a serum, uh, a treatment serum. So you can use uh, this one and then uh, top it off with a moisturizer. I wouldn't complicate my skincare routine anyways, especially if I'm using any treatment. I just keep it very simple, uh, wash my skin and use this um, serum and then I top it with a good moisturizer like a good thick moisturizer hope this video was helpful especially uh, with this product if you if any of you guys are wondering about this product hope it helped you guys if you think this video was helpful don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more skincare product review and skincare routine thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video